Dentists in many cities are helping to bring the benefits of fluoridation to children. Now, our children can have better health through fluoridated water. After 78 years of being told that fluoride in our water supply is a health benefit for us, science has proven that is not true. Unfortunately, it's just the opposite. Fluoride in our water supply actually causes neurological damage. I'm Dr. Griffin Cole of the International Academy of Oral Medicine and Toxicology. The National Toxicology Program, a division of Health and Human Services, recently released a draft report entitled Fluoride Exposure and Neurodevelopmental and Cognitive Health Effects. Their report, which analyzed 52 peer-reviewed studies from around the world, found that ingesting fluoride was linked to brain impairments in babies. The studies also found attention deficit disorders and lower IQs in infants born to mothers who drank fluoridated water during pregnancy and in babies fed formulas mixed with fluoridated tap water. Although pro-fluoridationists have tried to downplay this report, even going so far as to erroneously claim that all the studies have been debunked, the NTP has stated that they only reviewed high quality studies that carried out precise scientific methodologies with controls and accounted for all variables. According to the Fluoride Action Network, the lead plaintiff currently involved in a landmark fluoridation court case against the EPA, the NTP document is the most peer-reviewed and scientifically scrutinized NTP report in history. It's disappointing that the release of this report is being blocked by Health and Human Services and other government agencies who promote water fluoridation and was only released after a court-issued subpoena. The release of this report and its findings are a huge win for the health of all individuals unnecessarily exposed to fluoride and those who advocate against the dangerous practice of water fluoridation as it puts us one step closer to ending the use of forced medication in our drinking water. To prevent cavities without the risks of fluoride, nothing beats good oral hygiene. Floss and brush your teeth daily, eat a healthy diet that includes plenty of vegetables, good fats and ample protein, and of course reduce sugar consumption. To find a fluoride-free dentist and for more information, go to iaomt.org.